get confused about mm -hmm. actually because if you notice the leaves when it's small are kind of fat looking and then when it grows up to be this elegant young lady we, you know it mm -hmm. actually the leaves look different but the smell remains the same this is one of the plants that they don't like here because it is what they call foreign invasive but if you pass it around and take a sniff mm. it's so you can just pluck it this is more work Oh, that's oh, that's good. Good. Is that good, like worm medicine? Yes. Actually, there's a worm medicine too. Yeah, because yeah. just yesterday I went to do a show in. Uh huh. Um, so I do real estate. So um, my boss actually is from Jamaica, and then she was like, "Oh, it's summertime," and she popped please. And she's like, "This is so good for um, when the children have worms and stuff." Mm, yeah. So she boil it. I don't know if she's it's the probably. Same thing. She's no, it probably isn't. Mm. Um, it's it's probably semi contract. She said semi contract, right? Oh, semi contract but it looks almost the same it's sim similar. similar yes it has a similar look and then it has a strong smell too yes mm -hmm. yeah mm -hmm. after more medicines have a powerful smell okay so mm -hmm. this is something completely different this is different so that's semi contract yes this is, this is mugwort mm -hmm. mm -hmm. but it can be used for that too <laughs> mugwort actually has a um, really strong tradition of being used as a spiritual herb as a moon herb um <laughs> as a dreaming herb. If you put it in your pillow, you know, and lay on it, a lot of times just the scent of it alone will, will have you having vivid dreams. Mm. Mm. Mugwort also can be had as a tea and it's good again for dreaming. It's also good for amenorrhea in women as in no periods. Mm. You know, it depends on the reason for no periods, but a lot of times, you know, mugwort will just, you know, give you whatever mm. you need to, for your period to come. And it's good for arthritic pains as well rheumatoid arthritic pains and falls and fevers now whenever you smell something that's aromatic uh, not whenever but a lot of times aromatic herbs will be good for colds and fevers because colds and yeah. fevers yeah because they are diaphoretic which means what well, they make you sweat yeah. and so that's what you need with a cold and fever you know it's to sweat out the fever sweat out those toxins and so a lot of times they're really good for that yes. and sometimes for digestion as well Um, what my teacher taught me is that you can also break up a piece of the mugwort and you can clean your aura down. Mm -hmm. You know, you can wipe cool. yourself down. Yeah. It's causing tamoxa, and you know, moxa bush, yeah. you know, that yeah. they do to um, actually put heat in different areas, but uh, the scent of the herb is also important, and the vibration of that herb helps to put you in a place where you can be healed. Did you say that herb is like a sage? It's similar, yes, in that way, exactly. Mm -hmm. If yeah. you want, have the sage plant in no, uh, mm. no, no, actually, you don't. Um, maybe we're going to summer, but it doesn't like remain after the winter. You know, mm. so it's mostly like a California mm. warmer weather. Plant. How much of this would you use as a tea? If as a tea? Were, if you were uh, making a tea. So, so if you want to, um, yeah, I'm just gonna. If you want to make a tea, for instance, this doesn't pick easily. Um, about this much. much for oh, wow. And it depends on the purpose. If you want, like, a, you know, just a tea to taste nice, maybe you could just use three leaves. You know, but if you want it to act in a certain kind of way, use a little bit more, you know? Mm -hmm. And that's part of the problem. People use herbal medicine and they say, oh, you know, it didn't do anything. Maybe you're not using yeah, enough, enough, or right. maybe you're not using it long enough. And herbs do take a while to heal, many of them, because they're working deep and they're making subtle changes. And maybe you've been that way for like years and years and years, and it will take a while, you know. Mm -hmm. I'm not going to talk about it.